viral edits. Everyone thinks you need After Effects, but what if I told you, you don't? You can achieve the same high-end look without the cost. Today, I'm recreating a stunning Reels video using DaVinci Resolve, and the best part? You can do it with the free version. Inspired by Vein Motion, this tutorial will prove that creativity isn't about the tools, it's about how you use them. Let's get started. Right-click in the Media Pool and select Create New Timeline. Once the timeline appears, uncheck Use Project Settings and switch to the Format Options to enable Use Vertical Resolution. Now, move over to the Effects tab where we add a Fusion Composition. With the composition in place, transition to the Fusion page. Add a Background node and press 2 on your keyboard to view it. Change the background type from a solid color to a gradient. Select Radial over Linear to create a more natural, circular transition of colors. Adjust the center point so that it lies exactly at the midpoint of the canvas. Choose a bright green for the inner area and a darker green for the edges. This contrast not only provides depth but also adheres to color theory principles, ensuring visual harmony. Use Ctrl plus space to search and add a grid node. Press 2 again to see the grid overlay on your background. In the inspector, set the major line spacing to 0, modify the column cell value to around 11, and the row cell value to roughly 16. To create soft transitions, add an ellipse mask and connect it to the grid's mask input. Adjust the mask's size and increase the softness slider to smooth out the grid lines. Finally, reduce the grid's overall opacity to about 0.2 to keep it as a subtle, supportive visual element. At this stage, we are exploring the fundamentals of layering in compositing. The grid node not only adds structure, but also serves as a visual guide for subsequent elements. Now, let's infuse life into our static grid. Add a Displace node. Initially, the changes may not be apparent, but this node is designed to introduce waviness and movement by distorting the grid. Connect a Fast node to the secondary input of the Displace node. Adjust the Fast node's parameters, size, and rate to see a subtle animation emerge. Notice how even slight movements can transform a static image into a dynamic scene. Toggle the Displace node on and off to compare the before and after effects. I've got a quick question for you. Do you want to take your projects to the next level? If the answer is yes, let's work together. DM me on Discord and let's create something amazing. Now let's jump back in. Convert your 2D setup into a 3D environment by selecting the Displace node and clicking the 3D image plane icon. Add a camera node by pressing the camera icon. DaVinci Resolve automatically generates a Merge 3D node. Insert a Render node and press 2 to preview the output. If the scene appears flat or misaligned, click the Split View icon to enable dual views. Then drag the 3D Merge node into the first view to fully visualize it in the 3D workspace. Adjust the camera's blue arrow to reframe the background. Next, we'll construct a box and integrate text, key elements for creating engaging visual content. Add another background node and attach a rectangle mask to it. Adjust the color to an off-white ensuring a neutral yet distinct look. Introduce a new 3D image plane and connect this box into your existing Merge 3D setup. You may need to reposition the plane by dragging its blue arrow to introduce a sense of depth between the box and the background. Refine the mask by decreasing its width and height. And consider increasing the corner radius for a softer, more modern look. Duplicate the 3D image plane and add a Text Plus node. Connect the Text Plus node so that it aligns with the 3D box. Update the text content to Real, setting the color to a deep, dark green. Adjust font size, style, and spacing based on your creative intent. Zoom into the 3D view to reposition the text slightly forward. This subtle shift in positioning adds depth making the text appear as if it's emerging from the scene. Duplicate the text plus node once more to create a secondary text element and connect it to the output of your first text plus node. Change its text to 3D, match its color with the box, and use the Transform tab to adjust its in-top position. Now, let's introduce advanced effects to add energy and nuance to our composition. Flicker effect. Import an external image. The reference can be provided in the comment section. 
and connect it to the render node, this will generate a merge node, press 2, to instantly see the transformation. Now, take control by selecting the merge node and switching its mode to screen for a seamless blend that elevates your composition. Fine-tune your composition by precisely adjusting the size and positioning to achieve the perfect look. Use a color corrector node to fine-tune the hue and saturation, ensuring that the flicker effect integrates seamlessly with the background. Apply a Gaussian blur to soften the flicker. Then, let's bring this to life with animation. Select your merge node and set a keyframe at the first frame with an opacity of 1. And by the third frame, decrease it to between 0.8 and 0.9. Open the spline editor, select all keyframes, Ctrl plus A, and smooth them. Activate the ping pong mode so the flicker effect loops continuously, maintaining an energetic and engaging rhythm. Now, let's create the movement animation. Select your camera node and search for a Transform 3D node. On the first frame, set a keyframe for the Z translation value. Then, go to frame 30 and decrease the value so the box almost fills the screen. After that, go to the Spline Editor, select the keyframes, and adjust them so that the animation starts quickly. Next, add another Transform 3D node. At frame 28, set a keyframe for the Z value. And by around frame 50, increase the value to create a zoom out effect. In the Spline Editor, adjust the keyframe so the animation starts slowly, then speeds up and finally slows down again. To do this, press S, then Ctrl plus T to open the Ease value. Lock the in and out values to be equal and increase the value to around 50. To emphasize depth, add drop shadows to both the box and text. In the box's background node, search for and apply the drop shadow effect. Fine-tune the shadow's offset and opacity to create a realistic depth cue. Duplicate the shadow effect for the text elements to maintain consistency and cohesion throughout the composition. Next, return to the Edit tab to continue our transition. If you notice a black screen, it's because the last node is not connected to the Media Out node. Make a copy of the Fusion composition by holding and dragging it above, then return to the Fusion tab. Let's change the background by deleting all nodes related to it and adding a calendar image, which you connect to the 3D image plane. If you notice a black edge, select your 3D image plane, switch to the Transform tab, and increase the size so the background fits the screen. For some added texture, start by adding a paper texture and connect it to the output of the calendar node, which creates a merge node. Select it, change the mode to hard light, and decrease the opacity to around 0.2. Then add a grunge overlay, connect it to the output of your merge node, select it, change the mode to hard light, and decrease the opacity to around 0.2. This shows a clear difference between the calendar image with and without the texture, making the image appear more dynamic. Let's continue. Select the box's background node and change its color to dark green. Then change the color of your first text to almost white and update the text, for example, ink. Next, select your second text Change its content to Transition. Now, let's transform the text by matching its color seamlessly with the box, creating a bold and cohesive look that enhances the overall design. And use the Transform tab to adjust its Y value so that it sits below the box. Finally, select the Color Correction node for the flicker effect and decrease the saturation to zero. Now, return to the Edit tab and find the frame where the zoom-in effect begins, around frame 30. Cut the Fusion composition at that frame, drag it to a third timeline view, and place the ink animation between the two Fusion clips. Select the top Fusion composition and change its mode to Foreground. Then, select your ink video and change its mode to Luma. The ink transition appears inverted, giving the opposite effect of what we intended, because it starts with white and ends in black. Change the mode to Luma Invert. Finally, you have the animation, but we're not finished yet. 
Let's add a casual effect to make your edit pop. Drag an adjustment clip onto the timeline. If you are using the free version, add a vignette effect to the adjustment layer and adjust the settings as desired. Then add a zoom blur, ensuring you increase the center exclusion to keep the center in focus. And this will shift the focus in your video, making it stand out with a bold, eye-catching impact. For the paid version, I will replace this effect with a prism blur, enhancing the depth and vibrancy of the scene. By fine-tuning its values, I'll create a more dynamic and cinematic look, far surpassing the standard blur effect. Lastly, add another adjustment clip above the clips and add a shake effect to give your edit an extra dynamic touch. That's it. Subscribe for more tutorials and let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. See you in the next video.